Hello, my name is Curtis Siliason. I'm a product manager here at Mitsubishi Electric. Today, I'll be discussing the topic of backlash. I'll start with an explanation of what backlash is and why it's a problem. After that, I'll discuss some of the strategies for mitigating backlash. Finally, I'll give you a demonstration of our MRJ5 Servo's integrated backlash estimation function. Let's get started. So what is backlash? In mechanical engineering, backlash, sometimes called lash, play, or slop, is a clearance or lost motion in a mechanism caused by gaps between the parts. It can also be defined as an angle or distance through which any part of a mechanical system may be moved in one direction without applying appreciable force or motion to the next part in a mechanical sequence. Those definitions are a little abstract, so let's take a look at an example. When you're cutting gears, it's impossible to make all the gear teeth perfectly. The gears will always be a little bit too small, a little bit too big, or just not quite the right shape. To compensate for these imperfections, gear designers intentionally design their gears to be slightly undersized, which adds clearance into the design. This clearance keeps the gears from binding and allows the gearbox to spin smoothly. But because those clearances exist, when the gearbox changes direction, the output shaft will remain stationary for a brief moment, causing the input and output to be offset by the same amount as that clearance. But it's not just gearing that introduces backlash into a system. Gear reducers, indexers, ball screws, and couplings are just a few of the mechanisms that can add backlash to a machine. That backlash adds up and introduces positioning error into your application. Unless it's mitigated, this positioning error can seriously hurt the performance of your machine. One way to resolve this is to attach a load side encoder to your application. The encoder provides real-time feedback to your servo amplifier and allows your motor to compensate for the backlash by operating off the machine's position instead of the motor's position. However, this is not always a viable solution. Adding a load side encoder increases the cost and complexity of the machine. Another solution is to use the built-in backlash compensation function of the motion controller. This function allows the user to tell the motion controller just how much backlash is present in a machine. When the motor changes direction, it will offset the motion by the same amount as the backlash, eliminating any positioning error introduced by the backlash. While the solution can effectively mitigate backlash, it has one major drawback. Accurately measuring the backlash of your machine requires special tooling and can be very difficult and in some cases, simply not possible to do. Mitsubishi Electric's solution to this problem is our backlash estimation function, a standard feature on our MRJ5 servo amplifiers. The backlash estimation function rotates the servo motor back and forth at four points along the available travel of the machine. By measuring the motor feedback, the servo amplifier is able to approximate what the backlash of the machine is. This whole process can be done in just about two minutes and just a few clicks. Let's take a look at what that process looks like. Start by powering on your amplifier and connecting your amplifier to your PC with a USB cable. Open MR Configurator 2 and switch to online mode if it didn't switch automatically. Under the Diagnosis tab, select Gear Failure Diagnosis to open up the estimation function. Click the Parameter Settings tab and adjust the parameters to fit your application. Refer to the manual for details on how to set these parameters. Write your parameters to the drive and cycle the power. Click the Start button and the drive should begin moving. In less than two minutes, the function should complete and show you the estimated backlash of the system. It's just that easy. To summarize, first, backlash is the result of clearances in a mechanical system, which is necessary due to the manufacturing limitations. Second, unless it's mitigated, backlash can cause positioning errors that seriously hinder the performance of your application. And third, our MRJ5 servo amplifiers have a built-in backlash estimation function that allows you to quickly and easily estimate the backlash of your machine. Lastly, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that you found it helpful.